Mid-sized pickup truck shopping is hard. You know, you can go for the Ranger, but that hasn't been updated in years. There's the Colorado, but that was just updated. No way you're gonna find one of those on dealer lots. There's Tacoma, but everyone has one of those. If only there was a reasonably priced, recently updated vehicle that also stands out a little bit and, you know, serves my pickup truck needs while also being a comfortable daily driver. Ah the Nissan Frontier. Let's talk about the exterior features of the Nissan Frontier. Starting at the front of the Frontier, this Pro 4X has LED lighting. Now you're gonna get halogens on the S, you have the option to upgrade at the SV, but the Pro 4X right here is gonna get these LEDs. Pro 4X has this all-wheel drive system. Now all 4x4 models of the Frontier are gonna get a few extra features. You're gonna get skid plates and tow hooks. You're also gonna get hill descent control and a limited slip system. Real nice features that work together to make that 4x4 much more effective. Other features helping off-road, how about a 30 degree approach angle on all models? I really like how the front of this vehicle looks and it's got a lot of interesting features and you get these lava orange accents on the Pro 4X model. We'll see more of these around the vehicle. Let's take a look at the side. At the side of the Frontier, we can see these Nismo off-roading lights. This Pro 4X gets some other real cool off-roading features. You get those 17 inch Nismo wheels. They also have big knobby off-road tires them and Bilstein off-road tuned shocks. You get these steps right here, which are really grippy. They work real well. The size of the pickup. Nissan says this is the right size pickup, except Nissan makes another pickup truck, the Titan, which is larger. So it's a different size than this. If this is the right size pickup, is the Titan the wrong size pickup? This Pro 4X has many other truck-like features that carry onto the interior. Those of you familiar with trucks might be used to column shifters, not in this vehicle. You have a traditional center shifter. However, it still retains a lot of truck-like features. For example, a lot of vehicles these days have moved away from traditional parking brakes. They have buttons, or some don't have a button for the parking brake at all. It doesn't let you control the parking brake. It does it itself, not here in the Frontier. You have a traditional foot activated parking brake. So real old school feature there. I know that some people like their mid-size pickups, like a few of those old school features mixed in like that. Also, maybe not old school, but a little bit different from many other vehicles that you'd be looking at. This vehicle is body on frame. And in the mid-size truck market, not all mid-size trucks are body on frame. The Honda Ridgeline is actually a unibody vehicle. And that's somewhat a competitor to this in that they're both you know, smaller pickup trucks. But the, because the Honda Ridgeline is unibody, it's gonna drive a bit more like a Honda Pilot, a bit more like an SUV. This is gonna feel more like a truck. It's gonna get that truck-like feeling to it. And it's also gonna get a bit of higher capacity because it has that body on frame construction. All trims of Frontier are gonna have a 22 degree approach angle. They're also all gonna have LED tail lamps. Now, the higher end models are gonna get LED tail lamps underneath these rails here in the bed. Talking about capacity, you're looking at up to about 1600 pounds of uh, payload capacity and up to about 6,700 pounds of towing capacity. Now, your individual vehicle will vary, right? Some are gonna be lower than that because they'll have some equipment on, but that is the maximum amount that you can take. I mentioned the lights in the bed. You also have some other nice features like this rail system. They have mounted a speaker here. Great for some outdoor fun. They also have full-size power outlets back here in the trunk. A naturally aspirated 3.8 liter V6 engine is pulling out around 310 horsepower and 281 pound feet of torque. On this 4x4 model, power is going to be sent to all four wheels through a nine-speed automatic transmission. Expect around 19 miles to the gallon. If you're liking the video, make sure to check out the DC Auto Show. The 2024 show is going to be even bigger and better than ever. Make sure to check it out when it comes in January of 2024. Also, if you're liking the video, be sure to like and subscribe for more weekly on-move content. All right, folks, let's get back into it. On the Pro 4X, I really like this interior. The sunroof lets a good amount of light in. You have a digital display, seven-inch digital display there. That's pretty good for the class. A lot of these vehicles are still stuck in kind of mini non-color displays in the center, so that's good to see for the mid-size pickup segment. Here you have a seven or nine-inch screen. Of course, you're gonna have Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. I think the interior is well laid out. Separate climate control display down here. I know a lot of truck buyers, that's something they tell me they like to see. These seats are pretty comfortable. Nissan's always had pretty soft, cozy seats and these deliver and they have your cool lava red orange um, accents in them saying Pro 4X. 
You also have those along the rest of the interior with this deviated stitching. Looks great. Let me know what you think. In the rear of the Frontier, the seats back here aren't as comfortable as up front. That's because they're kind of up against this wall, so they're kind of vertical on the back, but that's not unique to this vehicle. That's something that kind of all pickup trucks have to deal with. Now, we can pull out the center cubby here, except it's really hard. I wish there was a strap up top to pull, but there's not. You kind of have to wiggle your fingers in there and, and pull it out. And for some reason, they got the tolerances like so tight, it's hard to squeeze your fingers in there, but eventually you do, and it reveals two cup holders. Other amenities back here, you do have a USB-A and C port, as well as a household outlet. I would like to see some vents back here in the future, but maybe this is a small enough cabin you'll get hit by the air up front. Let's talk driver assist. All Frontiers are going to come with a forward collision mitigation system with pedestrian detection, but they also have the option for a technology package which adds the Nissan Safety Shield 360. That's going to give you features like blind spot monitoring with rear cross traffic alert, intelligent cruise control, and lane keep assist. I really like this Pro 4X version of the Frontier. You should definitely check it out if you're looking for a mid-sized truck. I hope to get one out on the road later this year. Guys, thanks so much to the DC Auto Show. I hope you enjoy these little kind of highlights that we've had from the show. Let me know what you think of this truck in the comments below. We'll see you in next week's video.